don't forget about your don't forget about your warm market. Uh, I mean, seriously, if if you know, I've I've had really good success with uh, uh, talking with my warm market and getting people to see what we're doing. And a lot of you guys are writing some some big numbers, and that's going to attract folks. So don't be afraid to reach out out to them and realize you got your hands on the best opportunity out there. When you say warm market, Tim, you're talking about recruiting, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. I just want to make sure we were clear. Yep. We we're talking about recruiting and not reaching out to them. I mean, if they want to buy and protect the family and they're actually going to keep the policy, yes, do that as well. But uh, yep. Tim, that's a great point. Guys, I'm having a lot of success. And when I say success, I mean in reference to traction, in reference to people getting back with me and those kind of things coming in through our Facebook page or uh, coming in through Facebook and coming in through the website as well. Um, and all I'm doing is posting and reposting and posting anything I see FFL. I share it. People get back with me. Uh, matter of fact, one of my cousins that lives down in Florida reached out to me the other day. Uh, she's down in, I think she's in Fort Myers. Anyway, short story. Uh, one of her colleagues started FFL part-time, made 30 grand in their first 30 days and quit and came to FFL full-time. So this person is talking to her. She's like, my cousin works there. So she reached out to me and we're talking later tonight and she's talking about coming on board. I mean, it's just great because she keeps seeing the post. So I'm telling you, if you guys are, if you're trying, nobody's going to force you to, but if you're trying to build a team, you got to be on social media. All right, Mr. Pitts. Thanks, Tim. Not much right now. Um, I'm, I'll talk more during the training, but just um, excited about the, the couple of people I have recruited the past week. They're onboarding um, pretty smoothly, so I'm just, I'm excited about that. I'm going to keep on keep on growing. I would just want to say thanks to Amy for all of her help um, this week. She has been just a jewel um, in helping me get these people onboarded correctly. Awesome, good stuff. And uh, I know you're not going to pat yourself on the back for that, Gregory, but heck of a week last week as well. Um, just knocked it out of the park with the Mirico and some of the other AIG and everything else. So I think you uh, led the team this week, which is uh, it's good. It's very good. So thank you. Uh, going once, going twice. Anybody else have any good news they'd like to share? We'll make sure everybody has something they want to share. Awesome. All right. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Mr. Shearman. Nice job yesterday, yesterday evening. I'm not sure how I missed it, but congratulations on your sale. So good news. Um, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, or you've been keeping track of Slack, you saw Renee Barker's uh, message. He actually was working for, I don't know if it's okay to say her uh, the company's name or not, but I won't, working for a company that rents cars to people, probably one of the largest ones in the country. Um, and she actually was uh, driving herself crazy, driving in there every day, knowing that she's leaving money on the table, uh, as opposed to going in there and doing this full time. So Renee has decided to come to FFL full time. Really excited, and uh, we were having daily conversations. I know she reached out to Tim and talks to Kevin a lot and all that kind of stuff and all kinds of people. So uh, Renee, back-to-back, -back is our agent of the month again for July. So congratulations to Renee. Um, Renee not only uh, not only issued 18.5, just over 18.5. She's coming here full-time. She's recruited two people on her team. She's taken several travel trips. So she's taking this thing really seriously. And uh, I think the sky's the limit when she when she gets here. So she'll be definitely one to follow. And I think you guys are going to continue to see big things uh, for Renee. And we'll show her numbers here in just a little bit. Um, I'll go over our issue paid numbers here in just a second. But before we get into that and get to uh, get to Gregory for our training today on referrals, wanted to let you guys know as I kind of tipped it off here to a few minutes ago. But moving forward, uh, next week we'll put a, a program in place, and we won't do it every week. But the the incentives will get bigger. So when we submit. $50,000 next week. And I, I can't think of a week where we haven't been over 50,000 here in the line. We did 49,000 this week, but essentially 50. Um, when we write, excuse me, submit 50K, we're going to do a drawing for anyone that has submitted $2,000 or more for the week. Okay. You guys are out doing the work, those kind of things. Obviously, I don't think we have a, and I know we don't have an issue with people submitting fake numbers, but 2,000 minimum, which means essentially you're helping two families. We're gonna do a random drawing. So the first random drawing will be for a $25 Amazon gift card. You must be present on the meeting to win. So our week ends on Wednesday, the following, that Friday of that week, we'll do the drawing on this meeting. Must be present to win. If you're not, it's over um, because we're gonna to move to the next person. So uh, the first one will be, first drawing will be for a $25 Amazon gift card. The second one will be an FFL polo, color of your choice, whatever colors they have on there. 
And then the third, uh, the third drawing would be for a hundred dollar uh, gift card, if you will, or a hundred dollars in free leads on our CRM of your choice of leads. All right. So we'll start doing that. Obviously must be present to win and we must submit a minimum of 50 K. All right. Amy, anything that you need to add before we go into the, uh, the deal? Good morning, Todd. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we'll get through the stuff and then we'll have, uh, Mr. Pitts on to uh, do our training and referrals today. Hey, Corey. All right. Yes, sir. Just a quick, just a quick suggestion, and don't shoot me for this, but maybe you could reduce that ten thousand for anyone that started in their that's in their first month or something, uh, just to give like new starters a real uh, a real chance of winning something straight out the gate. Maybe. Say that one more time. Maybe if you reduce that ten thousand to be in the drawing for new starters. No, okay, maybe it's two. It's two thousand. Okay. No, it's only it's only two thousand. So basically, uh, they go out and help two families. Um, obviously, go out and help two families. That gets them in the drawing. Oh, you said two, not ten. Yes, two. Oh, I thought you said ten. <laughs> no, brother. I'm, I'm I'm putting this in place. I have every intention of giving all of it away. I'm putting them in place perfect. to make Sorry, sure bro. we give it away. No, no right, problem. No problem at all. My head. Sorry, it's breaking up. No, I apologize, no brother. worries, Kevin. I, maybe I need to speak clear. No problem at all. Um, uh, so here's the deal, guys. Top of the screen, you can see here. Please make sure Amy's posting it. I'm posting it. Make sure you're putting all of your numbers in HCMS. Please do that. Um, as some of you guys start to recruit and that kind of stuff and building your organizations, please make sure you're taking the time to put your numbers in HCMS. We will continue to post that weekly uh, to, to remind you. That is imperative that we do that. Uh, FFL is rapidly moving towards getting rid of, if you will, that's the nicest way I can say it, of uh, ridding uh, Surebay or SureLC, whichever one you want to call it, and going straight 8CMS. I think that will help uh, sure up some of the issues that we're having right now with that system, but that please make sure you're putting all of your writing numbers in 8CMS. Uh, the reason why we go yeah, go ahead. Please do. Um, also, in addition to adding writing numbers in HCMS, make sure you're checking your pending requests because if you do like a, there's like a hierarchy change or a compensation change going on, it always comes back to the agent for the final approval. Same with adding a carrier, requesting a carrier in HCMS. It will always come back to the agent for the final approval. Um, so once you request something, you're not done. You need to continuously check HCMS and your requests for anything that you can close out. Cool. Any questions on that, guys? Perfect. Thank and you, I posted videos, the how-to videos for HCMS on the Genesis Slack. thread and the Phoenix thread at, on Slack. They're both both on Phoenix and Genesis for um, the HCMS how-to videos. And, and keep in mind, guys, you guys are all, you own your own businesses. I mean, if we treat them like that, obviously you'll get the results that you want. But the other part of that, it's just a small, I know it's a nuisance, but it's a, it's a necessary evil for us to continue to do business and do business the right way. Uh, it will, especially when you start getting a team, it will affect your overrides. Um, and it's just the right thing to do to make sure that we're all compliant. That's the first thing. So, Amy, thank you for that. Much appreciated. And we will continue. Yeah, to and post if anybody, I was going to say, if anybody has any questions about HCMS, feel free to reach out to me. I mean, I'm the contractor for Phoenix, Phoenix Genesis and Worldwide. So I will 100% answer your questions if I can. Um, the more you're in there, the more you'll get to know it. But um, if you have any questions, because sometimes it's glitchy and sometimes it won't let you do certain things, but I can do them on the back end. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions at all with HCMS, just reach out to me. Yeah. And uh, again, those videos, HCMS videos, we have a section on FFL Genesis for people to go as well. Most of those videos, folks, is I mean, most of them are less than two minutes. Uh, Jasmine does one. Uh, Danielle, a lot of you guys know, does one as well. They're both they're a little different but they're both effective on uh, learning how to use HCMS. All right, uh, the reason we have these rope things on our meetings every week, every I was asked three times this week, when are our meetings? Um, you guys know I, I, I try not to, but I know I flood uh, the information stream, if you will, on Slack because I wanna keep things moving, but I also wanna keep you guys informed of what's going on. Uh, and if you choose to look at it, great. If not, then I guess that's your prerogative as well. So uh, Mondays, Monday evenings at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern, we have a uh, phone training and not, not only just a phone training, we know you're dialing all day, but to kind of slow things down. And uh, I'm glad we put this in leadership, put this in place because what's starting to happen is people are getting on there 
and they're able to ask some questions that they might not have been asking the person that was dialing and it's slowing things down so you can ask questions and be able to effectively you know hone your script and those kind of things i have a lot of fun doing those meetings with uh with the people that show up on mondays excuse me Corey, could you let Janet yes sir in, could you let janet in please oh i'm sorry no problem And Corey, not sure if it's just me or not, because I'm on the road or whatever, but if you were sharing your screen, I couldn't see it. So I don't know if you were trying to share okay. your screen with something. Yeah. But Can was, you guys see was, my screen? Thanks, Brian. Uh, my, no, I no. Can no. no. it's just loading. Oh, oh, it just says loading? Mine it's just, black. It's just it's a blank. circle. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, it Can doesn't say loading. Oh, that sucks. Hold um, on, let me try it again. I thought it was like, just me. <laughs> I checked okay, my wife came back. And... Uh, it's, it's starting to come up. There now. we go. Yeah. There going. you go, Brad. Okay. Thank you, Good guys. Go. You're welcome. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. I'm glad one of you guys spoke up. All the rest of you guys. Well, never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Okay. So that let me was go back. just me. No, it's all right. So uh, you guys see the HCMS thing at the top of the screen. Uh, and what I just said about Monday, I won't regurgitate it, but the Genesis phone training, uh, Monday, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. And you guys know we use the same link for all of our meetings all the time, try to keep our meetings at the same time. Uh, Genesis recruiting training, uh, what we do on Wednesday mornings. And guys, uh, it's actually one of my favorite meetings of the week. I don't know why, except I guess because we're building our organization and it's exciting to do what I can to help you guys build. I will do every single interview that you guys have, every single one of them. All you have to do is inform me of when you have them and uh, we'll get them on my calendar and I'll promise to, uh, to put a good face out there and help you guys build your team. I don't care if the interview is at midnight, it doesn't matter to me. So we do that on Wednesdays at 8 a.m. It allows you to ask questions. We go through the stuff. Amy is gracious enough to get on and uh, you're able to ask her questions about contracting and some of the other things that she does uh, to try to help out Phoenix Worldwide and uh, Genesis, of course. Fridays, you guys are on this meeting. Uh, we're graced to have field underwriter Gregory Pitts talk to us again. He always does a fantastic job. And uh, I'm gonna stop and pause for just a second. Um, I know some of you guys get frustrated with the leads, um, you know, those kind of things. It is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, say anything negative. It is what it is, but this is still a hell of an opportunity, excuse me, ladies, to be able to come here, build something, make a tremendous amount of money, and more importantly, help families when they need it the most. But if you start asking for referrals on a consistent basis, you're going to turn your business into pretty much a straight referral business in probably a year or less. Uh, so when Gregory said he wanted to do this topic today, um, I thought it was timely. Um, I think it's important. And I'm glad you guys are on because I know Gregory's going to have some great things that he does. And I've gotten back into the mode now of asking for referrals. And if you think about it, let's say you bought an $11 instant internet life lead, you help that family, and then you get two or three referrals, right? Those other referrals are free. So if you break that, let's say you sold two or three off of that one $11 lead, that lead really cost you $3.40, right? If you think of it that way. So that's what we're here today. Um, and just so you guys know, once we finish the good news, we'll go to Gregory. And then after that, if anybody wants to stay on, I'm going to go over our websites um, and a couple of other things that we have uh, as we move forward. Sunday, Velocity has been good enough to put together a new agent training. So for those of you guys that are new or maybe some things you may have gotten away from and you want a reminder, Velocity puts together on six o'clock Eastern, five Central every single Sunday. There's one of the top leaders across the country gets on there and goes over the things that you need to know about. Work spots, CRM, leads, phone scripts, getting licensed, getting through that whole gauntlet and everything else. So that's Sunday. And then every Monday and Thursday, every week, I, I, you'd think everybody would know this, but I get this every single week. What's dial days? What does that mean? Um, where's that at? That kind of stuff. Um, what we do on Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, some people even start even earlier than that. You'll get to hear some of the top people across the country like, Todd Hausberger that sells $50,000 a month. You'll get to hear exactly what he's saying on the phone. You get to hear some of the objections that some of these guys are overcoming. And all these guys are 20K a month or more producers. So you get to hear how they do it. And the best thing about our business is, is, is it's duplicatable if you're willing to put the time, the energy, and effort in and be coachable. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. So we have 14 people that are absolutely crushing it on strings. Uh, we'll start with the two weekers down there, Trent Moses, two weeks. Destiny came out hot with her first uh, sale week before last and sold again last week. So she's a two-week string. Mr. Joy Richard, two weeks. Mariana Bilo, three weeks. Jeremiah Drobny, huge day the other day, uh, three weeks in a row. Brian Smigala, three weeks in a row. Good job, Brian. Stacy Losing is at a three-week string. Way to go, Stacy. 
Kevin Gilbert absolutely crushing it down there, building a team and uh, working hard four weeks string. Kathy Libra, five weeks string. Uh, looks like Kathy's on her way to being our second queen of string. So let's make that happen, Kathy. Renee Barker, our agent of the month, two months back to back, starting full time here. And we'll talk about her numbers here in just a few minutes. I'm at 16 weeks. Mr. Belo's at 24 weeks. So two weeks away from getting his uh, his branded tumbler, Mr. Worldwide, as we call him now, Brad Shearman. I don't even know what to say about Brad. 25 weeks in a row uh, comes here. He's just really been a student of the game, just kind of quietly goes away and uh, tucked out there in O'Fallon and uh, out here in, in St. Louis, right in the St. Louis area and just crushes it, helping families every single week. And another fantastic job uh, late last night helping a husband and a wife with the CBO with uh, uh, return to premium. And then Mark Williams, again, 28 weeks in a row. Um, our first person to hit that, uh, hit that mark 26 weeks plus and uh, on his way to writing business every single week this year. Those are our 14 teammates that are on strings. For those of you guys that are new, what a string means is a number of weeks in a row that you actually connect. We don't care if it's a children's mutual Omaha policy, you help the family that week and that starts your string. And there's some prizes and things like that, that that come with that. So our numbers for last week, a little soft, but we were soft across the country last week. Our numbers 49,865, the total of 47 app, uh, applications or families helped. I should say seven total hires last week. We had 16 folks actually produced last week. Brad Sherman, 588. Renee Bar Barker, 661. Mariana Bilo, as we mentioned, she's on her string still, 731. Stacy Losing, 1367. Nice job, Stacy. Uh, Joey Richard will be coming on here full time before long as well. That's very exciting. 1428. Trent Moses, 1692. Three families help. Brian, another pretty solid week there at 2665 and two families help. Uh, Destiny in her second week here, 2907. Very nicely done by her. Uh, Ramon Santana, guys, one of my field recruits. Ramon was actually a client that I talked to, recruited, and basically kind of recruited himself. And uh, he's a full-time police officer. He's already recruited another officer and did 3219 last week. And this guy is pumped out of his mind to be here. Uh, so that's what this business is all about. Jeremiah Drobny, very solid, 3741. Kathy Libra, one of her bigger weeks. Awesome job, Kathy, 4172, five families help. Tim Below, 4335, five families help. Kevin Gilbert, just staying very consistent, 4641. And we'll go over his numbers here just a little bit uh, for the month of July. Uh, Mark, 4881, three families help. I came in second there. And then Gregory Pitts, very solid week, leading the way. Most of it, America, three or 4,000 of it, America, $7,093 with six families help. So well done, you guys. Again, a little bit soft uh, last week, but that's okay. Uh, we were off to a pretty good start this week so far. Last week, our top three performers, as we just heard, Gregory Pitts. Gregory gave me a little golf clap right here, 7093 I got came in second there, and then Mark Williams, 4881 to round out our top three for the week. Our top 10 issue through week five, we were fortunate enough to have a five-week month for July. Uh, should have had some level ups, but I guarantee we won't miss it again with our building. Mr. Drobny there, 8769 for the month. Walter Span, guys, one of my field recruits from Chicago, 9351. This guy came from AAA, you guys, and he's absolutely crushing this thing, getting better every day, calling me every time he's in a home. I have to make fun of him since I edged him out in the number eight spot. Mariana, 10,332, might be her first 10,000 issue pay month. I have to give her a call and ask her about that. Joey Richard, part-time guys, 11,498. Brad Shearman, just uh, what can I say? Very solid month, Brad, of almost 16,000. Renee Barker, part-time coming full-time, our agent of the month, back-to-back, 18,5. Tim Bilo, another 20,000 month. Kevin Gilbert. Again, another absolutely solid month, Kevin. Again, congratulations to you. 20,692, edging Tim out by less than 500 bucks there. And then Mark Williams, again, Mr. Consistency, the great one, 29,475, just shy of 30,000. That brought our total for the month of July, even though it was a five week month. Again, a little soft, but 210, 81006 for the month. So we helped a lot of families last month. All right. So I just want to show you guys this, and I'll, I'll do, continue to do it every single week so you can see the spread. Uh, just very quickly, I'm going to go from bottom up. I was going to put the other ones on here, but I didn't want to get redundant. So you can see the last couple of weeks, you can see our issue pay was, um, our issue pay was, uh, we had 22 total writers. So where you see the total agents for 108,000 issue pay. And then that very next week, you guys can see we went from 108 to 62. 
And even though I went to public school, I think that's roughly $54,000. So we issued another $54,000 that following week. Then we went from 162 to 210, which again, I believe is around 48, 49,000. And you can see we jumped up another four riders. So we need to consistently month in and month out to you know our next uh, threshold, next level we need to get to is 40 riders. That'll be the next magical moment for us. And there'll be a couple of sales uh, sales managers that come out of that, senior sales managers for those of you guys that are rooting and trying to get there and we'll get there. So I'll post this on our Slack line so you guys can see it. You can see the majority of our business, if you will, is going to Americo, which it should be. That's our flagship. You can see Mutual of Omaha is right behind them. And then of course, Aetna and AIG. So other than AIG being one of the top ones, um, I think that's pretty solid mix across the country. All right, any questions guys as we're moving through this? All right, we got some other people trying to get in. Hopefully I didn't lose anybody. All right. And then uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday we have uh, Mark and, uh, and Brad going out yesterday. Brad, sorry, I missed your cell last night. I have no idea how I did that, but uh, Mark Williams coming in with a solid 3,600, one family protected. And uh, Brad, his and her, CBO 3870, bringing our total to 7470 yesterday with three families helped. Again, for those of us that are new, you guys don't look muting, I'd appreciate it. Uh, for those of us, hold on, guys. All right, so for those of us that are new, if you issue $10,000 issue pay in a week or a month, you're a bronze level producer. 15,000 is a silver producer, 20 is gold. You guys can see this. We also post this on Slack so you can keep up with those. And that way you're, you're educating yourself on exactly what's going on in reference to for your production. Americo is our flagship carrier. As you guys know, 8% bonus paid twice a year. The second one will be right before Christmas. Uh, I think there was some email that just went out to show where you were at with your numbers. So I'm looking forward to getting my first Americo bonus this, uh, uh, since I've been here. I'm really excited about that. 8% bonus, guys, just for doing uh, your job with a pretty solid carrier there. Uh, we'll also, also put this on Slack, so I won't go over all the particulars, except for you have to have 45000 issue paid on the books with them. I think they pay that out December 15th or roughly there right before Christmas. Pretty nice Christmas getting a 5, 10, 15, 20 plus thousand dollar bonus, right? Just for doing your job. But you can see under the requirements there what you have to do. You have to have a good six month persistency and you should be taking a look at that on your, uh, on your information on America. Again, I know it seems like February is a long way away. It'll be here before we know it. Um, just posted that again this morning. We'll post it daily. Um, the annual convention will be February 2nd through the 5th. Uh, and I can tell you guys, I went to the annual convention, actually had an opportunity to speak at the annual convention last year. And it really, really does kind of move things forward for you, the people you connect with, uh, the people you meet, and what you learn at the convention. WorkSpots, can't say enough about WorkSpots, provide you with an opportunity to get discounts on leads. And you're able to go to uh, any of the, I believe, 200 plus offices. Todd's having his, uh, and Phoenix are having their grand opening on the 30th of September, I uh, 20th of September, I believe. No, I'm mixing them up. 30th of September, we're having ours at our new office here in St. Louis on the 20th. All are welcome. All right, any questions before we move forward? All right, well, next we're gonna have our field underwriter, Mr. Gregory Pitts, and Gregory's going to talk about getting referrals. Greg, do I need to share anything or are you good to go? Yeah, could you um yeah share share the uh, make me the co-host like that? Yep, please. I'll Here. make you the host, and oh. you are the host, my friend. Lord All right. Thanks a lot. Well, um, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gregory Pitts. I am here in the great state of Georgia, down here in Atlanta. Um, going to talk about talk about referrals. Corey kind of already opened it up for me by saying that um. You know, sometimes we, we, we look at the leads, we buy X number of leads and we get, you know, just blasted on people don't answer, they hang up on you, they, you know, all of those things like that. Um, so what do we do? My thing is I, I always try to make the best out of it by whoever that I go see. If, if I get, if I buy 20 um, leads and I get one appointment out of that, when I go see that person, I'm asking them for referrals. I always ask for referrals. In fact, 
the um, if you guys can see this right here, you can see my little chicken scratch. This is my writing up here. This is the writing of the person who I wrote and they gave, these are the referral. They gave me four referrals. They wrote them down there. In fact, one of them was her sister. I wrote that in there. One of them was her ex-husband. So, and then out of this already, I have, re I got two appointments out of, in fact, one of them, um, I'm on Eastern time. So it's um, not nine, nine something here. I got an appointment with her at, at 11 o'clock, um, Miss, Miss Tina, Miss Tina at the bottom. I got an appointment with her at 11 o'clock. So as soon as it's over, I got to get out of there. So we'll talk about referral, referrals are great. So, so how do we, how do we ask for referrals? So hold on a second, let me start this screen real quick. Um, somebody let me know that you can, that you can see the screen. It's loading up. All yep. right, great. We got you, Gregory. Okay, so, um, and Corey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use you um, as, a, as a role playing with me if you don't sure. mind. So absolutely. We, we talk about referrals, um, how do we ask for them? So I got, I, got a, I got a couple little scenarios here that I use um, and, I, and I wrote them down here. And if anybody is interested in them, I can send it to court. He can send it to anybody who's interested. Um, so the first one is just a general, just a general way to ask for um, referrals. I call it, I need your help. So um, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here with Mr. Corey and Corey, I, we, we, whatever, however this scenario went at the end of it, I'm asking him, Corey, I need your help. Can you help me? Sure. I need the names of three to five people that you know that I can go show them what I do. Who comes to mind first? Um, uh, my, my sisters. Okay, and, and what are your sister's names? Uh, Kiana. Kiana, okay, how, how do you spell that? Uh, you can just call her T. Okay, so okay. I feel Key? like you know her if you do that. Yeah, Key. Okay, K-E-Y. Right. -E, okay. -E and then my okay. other sister's name is, is Nikki. Okay, Nikki. All right. You just have those two sisters? Yeah. Okay. Um, who else do you know? Um, I mean, who else do I know that would need life insurance? Who, who, who else did you, do you know that I can go show them what I do, whether they need, it doesn't matter if they need life insurance. I just need, I would just like a, a name. I'm in a number uh, and I talk to them and show them well, what I do. Well, locally, um, I have my nephew, Anthony. Okay. Uh, my nephew, Brandon. Okay. And um, that's probably about it. That's probably all I can think of okay. right now. That would, yeah. And, and that's it right there. So, okay. So, so great. So, so in that scenario, I asked him two questions. I didn't ask him, do you know anybody or can you give me any names or anything? I said two things. I said, I need your help. Can you help me? He said, yes. And then I said, I need the names of, I, I said what I need. I need the names of three to five people that you know that I can go show them what I do. And I said, who comes to mind first? So when I did that, if you if you were able to see me, if I didn't have this up, when I say who comes to mind first, hand, my head is down and I'm ready to write. I'm not looking, I am expecting them to give me something. And then when they give me a name, who else? Anyone else? Who else? I keep going until they say they don't know anything else. And then I go back and I get the phone numbers. So why do I do that? Because if I get the name and the phone number, name and the phone number, then, oh, okay, that's it. But if I continue to go and say, who else? Who, who else do you know? Who else do you know? Who else? Anybody else? They could just keep giving you names. You may look them, you may have six or seven names. Then you've got to go back and then, then they have to give you the, the, the phone numbers. Put right. those phone numbers down there where if you just get a name and a phone number, you may only get two or three. Um, also in the same scenario, um, Corey, we go, go back to this again, um, just to the end of it. Uh, Corey, I need your help. Um, I need three to five names, people that you know that I can go show what I'm doing. Who comes to mind first? Tell me you you can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head, Barry. Okay. So, Corey, how, how many children do you have? So I, I went down to my memory joggers right there. This kind of helps kind of helps people remember or gives them people to think of. Corey, how, how many children do you have? One. One. Uh, what's your child's name? Uh... Bailey. How old is she? Uh, 50. She's 15 or 50? <laughs> yeah, 15 going on 50. 15, 15 going on, okay, all right. <laughs> so, um, you know what, you know, Corey, and, and I'm just, I just put these on, I just, just thought of anything. Um, right. Your lawn looks great. Who does your lawn? Um, Corey, I see you play golf. Or Corey, I see you're in the, in the lacrosse league. You're a, you're a coach with the lacrosse league. Who are some, who, who are some of the guys you play? lacrosse with who, who's some of the guys you took coach 
get those names down there. Um, right. Chester, I see that you're I see that you're a Mason. Who are some of the people in your in, in your um in your group that you work with? Oh, Brad, you go to you go to so and so you going to so and so church? Yeah, that's that big church down there on on Main Street. Yeah, who's the pastor there? Who's the assistant pastor there? Who's the choir director there? Oh, you sing in the choir. Who are some of the members in the choir? This kind of helps you helps them re think of people that they say they can't. If I go into somebody's house, I'm looking when I walk in the house, I'm looking for referrals. I'm looking at pictures. Who are these pictures of here? These are your grandchildren? Well, who are their parents? Boom. And and due to the age, the age of somebody, so I'm so I'm so so just say you went to my mother's house. My mother is 76. So you went into her house. Her son Gregory is 55. Gregory's son Gregory the second is 32. That's three levels of people right there that you can that you can get. Well, who's your son? Oh, how old is he? Oh, he's 55. Okay. Well, well, does he have children? Oh, he has a son too. Well, how does he? Well, what's his name? Boom. Those are names that you can get and then go back and get numbers. Also down here with the memory joggers, um, some people, you know, are kind of reluctant to give you to give you um, referrals. So I, I asked this question right here. So Mr. Corey, um, you, 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 you couldn't think of anybody. No, you didn't, you're reluctant to give me anybody. So Corey, if you and I were walking down the street and you and when you saw one of your buddies and he approached us, would you introduce me to him? Yeah, I would. of course you would. Corey, that's all I'm asking for is just an introduction. That's all I'm asking for is just an introduction to the people that you know so I can show them what I do. Another one is, Corey, um, Labor Day is Labor Day's coming up in a few weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So Corey, if you were going to have a cookout to celebrate that, who would you invite to your cookout? Get those names down. Boom, boom, boom. Just, just subtle ways of asking people for referrals. Okay. Um, any questions before I go forward from anybody? I think the, the big thing about getting referrals, uh, Gregory, as you mentioned, is just asking. Uh, and you got, mm -hmm. I was, I was the one I was, I just wrote it down so I didn't forget it. And I looked up and it's here on your screen. The bit, if you don't mind, Gregory, the, the beneficiary Wait. referral, guys. Yeah, you yeah I, I, I was going to do that. I was going to do that. Go, no, cover it, cover it. And I just wrote that one down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that one last. So I just wanted to. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That's the easiest so, one so. in the world. Right, right, right. It is. So, the next part of this is, so that was just a general um, referral, how you ask. The next part is, like Brad said last week on his training, a, a fantastic training right there. Um, when do you ask for referrals? So when you're doing the, when you're doing the um, presentation, you, you get them to agree on a quote. Okay, so Corey, do you want the one, the 20,000 that's $40 a month, or do you want the 15,000 that's $30 a month? Which one of these works best for you today? I don't 30. care which one. Yeah. The thirty thousand. Okay, great. Now, Corey, before and and I'm not. I put down my pen. I look him dead in his eyes. Corey, I want you to know something. I'm your agent. If you need mm -hmm. anything or you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me. In fact, Mr. Corey, you have questions about your beneficiaries. You want to change that? You have questions about more coverage. You have, you don't understand your policy. Anything? Please give me a call. In fact, Mr. Corey. If you have questions about auto insurance, homeowners insurance, I want you to give me a call as well. Why do I say that? I want to be their go-to person for insurance. Whatever the insurance need, I want you to call me. And I have, I don't do PNC. I don't do any kind of homeowners or anything like that, auto insurance. But I do have people that I know that I can refer them to. So I want them to come to me because guess what? When their cousin asked them about some kind of insurance who are they going to say oh i got my insurance guy let me let me give give you to him so they call come to me for all of their insurance so um so Corey, like i said do not hesitate to call me Corey, can you do me a favor sure where's your phone put, take your phone out real quick got it put my name in your phone put in there gregory the insurance guy ffl gregory ffl insurance family first and how whatever is going to help you remember who i am um, and then my number is 678-939-5354. Okay, you got that, buddy? I do. All right. Now, Corey, while you got your phone open, I'm gonna, we're gonna, can, I need you to help me out again. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start filling out this application, putting in, you know, the name and your, all your driver's license, all this other stuff that we already talked about. While I'm doing that, can you just scroll through your phone and write down the names and numbers of the next five to six people you, that you see in there? Can you do that for me? I sure can. All right, thank you. So that gives him something to do 
while I'm doing the easy stuff, the information I already got. Because if I have one of the lead cards I already got, name, address, and all that, I just want to plug that into the info into the um, uh, application while they're doing that. And I'm doing that. So by the time I get to, you know, you got to sign this or um, get ready to do the um, underwriting questions. They're done with that. I'm done with that. We can go through those next steps together. And like Brad said last week, we don't have to wait to the end of the conference of the uh, uh, interview or, 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 or meeting because now once they sign a contract, they are done. They're ready to go. They're ready to get up out of there. They're ready for you to leave the house. They're ready to go. Um, go get something to eat. Me and just like me and Chester, we were there. We're one, we're one family. They were ready to go to Chipotle. They were ready for us to go. Right, Chester? <laughs> so, um, so, so any questions on that? This, I, I, I love this right here. This is one of my favorite ones right here. Get your phone. I'll put my number in your phone while you're in there. Scroll through and give me some more people. Give me some more names. And I, and I let them write that information down. It's like I did with the lady I just showed you right there. I did that same technique with her. So um, some people say, well, what happens if you don't sell? Can you ask for referrals there? Sure. And I, and, and I was like this, Corey, when I was with, with Combined Insurance, we, we were taught that you want to ask people that you don't sell because you're just walking in and see people. You're going to see more people that you don't sell than people right. that you do sell. So you want to ask everybody. So this is this is just a little scenario that I that I come up with right here. So if you didn't sell. So, Mr. Corey, I know yes. we want to help you out today, but let me ask you this. Did you see the value? Do you see the value on what I do? I do. I, I, I know I know you didn't qualify for it. And, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you on that. Or whatever it was you didn't afford it or you just didn't want it or whatever but you, you do see the value in this what we do right and how yes. this may help other help other individuals and families okay right yeah. so mr corey and you go right back up to the front i need your help can you help me i need the sure. names of people that you know, i know that you know that show what i do who comes to my first boom go right back to that so so that's that now the last part is now i'm still good on time right corey yes right. the last part this Corey hit it right on beneficiary referrals. What are beneficiary referrals? Okay, so we're going through going through the application as we do in every application. We had to ask for, for referrals, right? So, Mr. Corey, who would you like for who would you like to be your referral? I mean, who would you like to be your beneficiary? Uh, my sister Nikki. Your sister Nikki. All right, Nikki. Now, does, does she live in? Um, yes, yeah, she okay. lives right here in Atlanta with us. Okay. Which you lose right here? Okay, great, fantastic. Corey, can you do me a favor? Sure. I need to talk to her, to talk to her about her rights and responsibilities as your beneficiary. This is a very important meeting for her. So can you do me a favor and call her and let her know that I will be contacting her this evening, maybe around six o'clock, just to set up some time with her to sit down and go over her rights and responsibilities. Can you, can you do that for me? I can, yeah. Thank you so much. Perfect. Boom. And boom. Just, just do it. And, and the more referrals, the more beneficiaries they have, the more the more people you get to go talk to and see. And if I call them and then they don't answer, and I know most of the time when we're calling people and they don't answer, we'll make, you know, we'll ring back three times or, you know, maybe call three or four times and then maybe we'll leave a, um, a um, message. When I call a beneficiary and they don't answer, Miss Corey, would you say your sister's name was again? Nikki. Hello, Nikki, this is Gregory. Um, Corey has listed you as his beneficiary for life insurance. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Leave my number, boom, hang up. They're gonna call you back because they don't know what's going on. They don't know if, is he, if he's had a, a doctor's message and they told him something or what, but they're going to call you back. And the so, key to that, as Gregory's mentioning, is that message. Mm -hmm. The key to that is that message. It's very simple, it's very succinct. And you're telling them why I'm calling you beneficiary stuff. The first thing you're gonna do is pick up the phone and call their loved one. I guarantee it. You okay? Like I just had some some strange person call me if they haven't reached out to him like Gregory has. So if I hadn't reached out to my sister and then she gets a call from somebody, somebody talking about beneficiary stuff or whatever, I guarantee you, you're gonna get a call back. Yep. Yep. And the, and the closing ratio on beneficiary referrals are super high. Way high. Yeah. Way high. We had a guy um, before the company I worked with before for six months, and 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 this guy wrote wrote a lot of business, and he asked for us for six months. He was one hundred percent on his beneficiary referrals, and I'll bet you that was probably about thirty or forty people. 
100% on beneficiary referrals. So, um, so, so in closing, the best way to get a referral is to ask. If you don't ask, the answer is already is always is always no. If they say they don't know anyone, you know, use some memory joggers. I know one that people do say sometimes they say, I feel, I don't feel right asking or asking them or giving out their information. So uh, Mr. Corey, um again, um I need three names of three to five people that you know that I can show when I do, who comes to mind first? Tell me you don't you don't want to give me any or you don't don't feel right giving I don't me. I don't feel comfortable giving out uh, giving out anybody's information. So Corey, did I represent myself today? Was I, was I a professional today? Yeah, absolutely. Did, did, did I represent myself, my company, and you in in, in, a, in a professional way today? Did I do a good yes. job doing it? Mm -hmm. Well, Corey, I promise you, I, if you give me any referrals, I'll treat them the same way that I treated you today. I won't harass them. If they're interested, great. If they're not interested, it's still great. I just want to give them the same opportunity that I gave you. Is, is that fair? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Corey, okay, Corey who, who comes to mind first? Boom, head down and, and pin Richard. Um, and, and, and another one, if, they're, if they were a referral, well, Corey, your cousin Joe referred me to, to you. If he wouldn't have referred me to you, I wouldn't have been able to help you today. Is, isn't that That's true? That's big. Yeah. Corey, who comes to mind first? Boom, 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 boom. All right. Um, I'm all done, everybody. Thank you so much for your um, time. If anybody, anybody have any questions? Let's see. Um, just in case, let me check the... Gregory, you can give me back uh, hosting. Okay. That would be great. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Nice job, Gregory. Um, Really well done. Nice Thank job. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, host, there we go. You got it back? Wait a minute. I'm clicking make host. Do you want to? Oh, Maybe yeah. the host? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. Awesome. Great job, Gregory. Guys, any questions at all? And it's something so simple. If you do this, you'll have a straight referral business within a year. So those of us, those of us that don't like buying leads or that don't want to buy leads, that kind of stuff. Well, first of all, it's crazy if you don't. But uh, you're going back into the what I call the old way of doing insurance, which is the harder way to do it. Uh, trying to create the need where if people are, if you're buying leads, the needs already been created. As crazy as some of these people might be that we call, right? Uh, it's a numbers game. Gregory, very well done as usual. Appreciate your uh, your time and your expertise, and uh, you're giving back to to the team. It's much appreciated. Congratulations on being number one this week of over seven k. Uh, have a pretty nice paycheck coming, so that's a beautiful thing. We appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, buddy. All right. Yep. So those of you guys that know what I'm getting ready to go over, you guys, can, you're not gonna hurt my feelings at all. You can stay on or you can jump. I know everybody's busy and it's Friday. I'm looking forward to protecting a couple of families today with uh, the appointments I have. But what I'm gonna go over next, just so you guys know, is I'm gonna cover our website, our resource website. I'm gonna cover the recruiting website. I'm gonna cover FFL-GO very quickly. And then any open questions that you guys might have. So again, if you guys have seen this a thousand times, if you wanna jump, you're not gonna hurt my feelings at all. Uh, for those of you guys that are getting ready to hop off, thank you guys for everything you do. Uh, like I said, a little soft last week of 49,000. Uh, we probably should have done better from an issue paid standpoint um, for the month of July, especially with it being a five week month. But uh, we had a heck of a start yesterday with Brad and Mark obviously being over seven, well over 7,700. So we'll get it together. Um, guys, you got, and I'm not making any, uh, any uh, excuses because there aren't any. Uh, you guys will see more from me. I promise you that. You guys will see more from me from a leadership standpoint from selling. Um, everybody's got the same amount of hours in a day. I've just been doing stuff with the office here and all the other little distractions. But uh, I'll be getting back uh, getting back into the groove here and going out and doing what I should be doing anyway, which is helping more families. So uh, those guys that are always in the top five on our team, look out because I'm coming to get you. So, all right. Those guys that want to stay on and go through the second part, we're going to go ahead and get this started. Guys, there are no stupid questions at all. Even if you've seen this 10 times before and you're not really sure, just ask me. I'm happy to go over it or slow things down to help you guys out. So, but since it's already up, let me go ahead and cover the recruiting site, okay? So, you guys, we put this together so that you don't have to do this. The leadership team and I put this together, right? So, um, if somebody comes out here and they're interested in finding out more about the opportunity, you can send them to joinffgenesis.com. We've got several videos out here. Why FFL? We've got, you know, million dollar producer. We've got Jake, uh, Jake K there. That's absolutely crushing it this year. Uh, we try to change these videos out to keep things relevant and also keep things to a point where people can like, some people just can't fathom 
writing a million dollars in a year, even though it's done here. Uh, but some people can. So we want to try to, you know, reach the masses, if you will. Uh, if they come out here and they click view opportunity, again, this is my specific link, but I'm going to show you something here in a second, how you can use this site as well. For those of you guys that have never seen this, when you click on that and you go get access and that new candidate puts their first last name to state their email phone number and hit submit, it's going to send a link or communication to you, letting you know your new candidate is taking a look at our rogue IMO video. Give them about 20 minutes and reach out to them, ask them what they thought, set up an interview. And as I've mentioned before, I'm happy to do the, every single interview that comes through Genesis, worldwide, good life, whatever the case is, I'm happy to help with those. All right, if I'm moving too fast, let me know. The next thing on this is if somebody comes out here and they're not, they don't see that, this is the same video, except it's not connected to you. It's just connected straight to YouTube. They can watch the video. It's the exact same thing. It's Stephen Yee's video. Um, and that goes through, goes over the, uh, goes over the rogue IMO. What we provide, term, whole life, universal, annuities, how we do it. We got a quick video on there that just talks to people saying, hey, I've been here for X number of, you know, X number of months. I've made X number of dollars. Uh, then you've got Zach Egan that's absolutely crushing it this year. Uh, him and he and his team, I think they're over 10 million for the year, which is insane. But uh, anyway, just some other videos out there uh, to help people that might be new to our industry. Then uh, you have a video where I cover compensation. Sean talks about the new agent bonus program. There's a business development meeting that's put on there by Stephen, uh, Stephen G, another million dollar producer year in, year out. You have our podcast there. And then you also have join the team. Now, this is probably one of the more important parts of the site. When the, your candidates, if you send them to the site, when they come out here, all they have to do, name, email address, and then in the subject where it says message, all they have to do is put your name and their phone number in there. When they hit your future starts here, it hits Amy and I's email. And then we will actually forward this to you, letting you know, hey, one of your people, somebody that you know you sent to this website actually completed the information and they want more information. And then we can set up an interview and we'll actually help you conduct the interview. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions about that at all? Okay, perfect. So next we're gonna go to FFL-GO, because I know we have a couple of new people on here. FFL-GO is a site that was put together by, I believe, FFL USA, Andrew Taylor, one of the largest agency, uh, organizations or agencies at FFL. And what this does is it allows you to keep most, probably 50, 60% of the carriers that you're going to work with on a daily basis. They're all right here. So you don't have to go out and create a bunch of different windows. So the first time you come out here where it says carrier quotes and info and the legend on the left-hand side, the screen's going to be blank. You're going to have to tap that. And then this is what shows up. Where it says carrier info, if I click the drop down box, then all those carriers are going to show up. Again, Americo, Mutual of Omaha, John Hancock, uh, these are going to be uh, uh, AMAM, Real Neighbors, uh, Transamerica. Those are a lot of the companies that you're going to use probably 70, 80% of the time. They're right here. Okay. Now, not to get too technical right now, because we're going to be done here in the next two to three minutes, but do not use the quoting tool for AIG or Americo on FFL dash go, the rates are inaccurate. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Do not use FFL go for quoting for AIG or AmeriCo. For AmeriCo, you wanna use quote.americo.com. Quote again, quote.americo.com. And then for AIG, you're gonna to wanna to come out here, go through the e-app, which we have a training on this on our, uh, on our YouTube page as well but uh, you wanna click on the e-app there. You do not wanna use the quotes. And here's why, I'll just show you really quickly. If I click quotes and click view quote, it's a paper quote and you can see it was last updated in uh, 2018. So common sense should say that this information is, is way out of date. Any questions about that before I finish up with FFL-GO? Okay, so training podcasts, Andrew and those guys have put stuff out there for you to, to be able to listen to. Some great stuff out there. Colton Durr, the third one down there. I've had to spend quite a bit of time with Colton. He's out there in Wichita. Tim and I went to his uh, his office a few weeks ago, and uh, he actually has written Hall of Fame. Uh, I think the week of Jan or uh, July fifteenth, he actually completed over four hundred and ten thousand dollars, which is insane. Over three hundred thousand of us with Americo. So nice bonus coming as well. Other training videos, phone scripts. Look at the phone scripts that we have texting, I mean, just all kinds of stuff to be able to help you. And again, you guys are here, so you guys will know where this stuff is at. We should have a lot more people in the meeting, but 
hiring scripts, just all kinds of stuff for you guys if you're trying to build and grow. All right, um, vendors, hiring script, email. If you wanna get attached to Andrew and those guys email, you can click on that and sign up for their, their page there. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna cover is our website, FFL Genesis. So if you're paying attention there, join FFL Genesis is for recruiting. FFL Genesis is for a resource site that was put together by your leadership so that you can come out here and have pretty much one place to go, all right? So again, a couple of training videos and that kind of stuff out there, a couple of podcasts. Uh, Jordan Lowry is just a complete stud, massive organization. Uh, the LIFE acronym, if you guys didn't see what, what, what Brad posted uh, last night, he, he uses this all the time. I guarantee you when you use the LIFE acronym, your ticket will go up. You will sell more insurance because they'll actually look at the need as opposed to saying, oh, I need $100,000 like everybody says when you ask them what their need is. Last couple things here. Again, that Rogue IMO video, you can set up a custom link. We talk about that on Wednesdays. So I'm gonna bypass that. And here in the quoting tool, this is probably where you're gonna spend the majority of your time on this particular resource site. You can see you can buy your leads, FFL goes out there, the insurance toolkit, the other carriers that aren't in the drop down box for FFL Go, most of them aren't, Prosperity, Aetna, you have the Americo Quote Tool, Great Western are all out here. So you have one place to go to as opposed to having to go to a bunch of different apps. Last couple of things here and I'll let you guys get about your day. This is a huge portion of the site as well. The comp grids out there, the in-home credibility form. So if you don't have those, if you didn't get those from bootcamp, here's one out here that you can use. And the last couple of things that I'll show you guys, again, the term and final expense grids. We'll be making a video about that as well to show you guys how to maneuver through that. It's pretty simple, but this is what you can use in the home before you pick up the phone and start calling the velocity in on the upline or your upline. And the more you use this, the simpler it gets. Pretty simple stuff. As Amy mentioned earlier, eight CMS onboarding training. Some of these videos are 45 seconds a minute. Uh, take the time to go through them. And last but certainly not least, product training. So if you wanna go through any product training and those kind of things, most of our final expense carriers are out there. So any questions? Very good. Amy, anything you wanted to add? Is she still on? See if we still have her. I think she had another meeting to jump on too. So, all right. Any questions that any of you guys have before we, we uh, get out of here? I got a question, Corey. Yes, sir, Chester. If you're doing a recruiting, do you have to be licensed in the state that you're trying to recruit at AC from? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer this two different ways. The first, an first answer is <clears throat> yes. The second okay. answer is not all states require you to be licensed in that state in order to recruit someone and in order to receive overrides. But here's what I'll tell you, that list changes all the time. So one year it might be, no, you don't need it. And then they change it six months in and then you have to have it. So I'd say, I tell people this, if you're gonna have a person in that state, just get licensed and make sure that you're good. Okay. And most of the licenses aren't that expensive. Uh, you can go to NIPR, look up that state and then look up what the non-resident license fee is. Okay, thank Great you. Great question. You're very welcome. Anything else? Awesome, Gregory, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, presenting today, much appreciated. And uh, appreciate all you guys being on and staying to the end. If you guys have any questions, you know we're here. Bye for now, have a great weekend. All right, you too.